Have you ever thought about investing in real estate? I have many questions about people who are thinking of investing. What does that mean? How do they get started? What do they do? Today's going to be a little 101 on how to invest and get started in real estate. Welcome to the Aaron Power Show. Real estate investing is something that I think most people are genuinely interested in. I get questions on it a lot, whether it's how do I get started, how do I flip a house, how can I start a portfolio, and these are all great questions. And I'd like to go over some of these with you today. Obviously, the number one thing you're going to need to start is money. You're going to need funds from somewhere, whether it's you know, an investor that wants to back you with a great idea, like investing in any business, right? You've got to have a way to be able to sell it to make sense on how they can get a substantial return on the amount of money invested. And there are many different ways to do this, which I wanted to kind of go over with you today. The first one, and probably the most popular these days, is flipping, right? Flipping a house, buying a house, finding it under market value, something that needs a little bit of work, considerable, considerable amount of work, and taking the time, having it redone, and positioning yourself to resell the property and make hopefully the largest profit that you can. Now this is going to depend on where the market is. Obviously in a more down market, you are able to find properties at a lower value, put in more work, sell them higher. As the market's climbing and going up, sometimes the margins are a little bit less because you have to buy them a little higher, do the great work, and attempt to sell them at a higher price. Another way to do this is buy and hold or starting what we call a portfolio in real estate. Now you buy properties, hold them, put long, hopefully long-term tenants in there, have them basically pay the mortgage for you unless you're paying cash for a property. And if you are great, a lot of investors will say, don't liquidate all your assets. Mortgage debt is traditionally not bad debt. It's a very low interest rate compared to borrowing on other things. So you put a, a tenant in there and basically even if you're only breaking even, and not making a ton of money on each one, as you pay down the payments, the tenant is basically paying the mortgage on your behalf. So really in the long run, if you hold these properties for five, six, however many years your business plan states, you can then turn around, sell your portfolio of properties at a higher value years down the road. Great long-term way to make money. Again, if you can time this to where you're really buying these properties at a lower point of the market, waiting until the market is up like it is now, perfect time to unload a portfolio of that magnitude. I've seen people with five homes up to maybe a hundred rental properties, right? I mean, it really just depends. Um, I had a great investor tell me one time, you know what, Aaron, I really like getting paychecks. And after I got my first rental property, I thought, how can I get a paycheck every day of the month? So he went out, started building his portfolio, bought 30 homes, and every day he'd get a paycheck. So something pretty awesome to think about depending on what your plan is and how you want to grow. Another way to do this would be commercial real estate. Now this is obviously on a larger scale, and this can be anything from buying vacant commercial land to setting up a you know, business complex or maybe a, you know, 10 unit apartment complex or 100 units, who knows, right? The, the thing about real estate is the sky's the limit. There's no cap, there's no ceiling on what you can earn and how big you can grow. So it really is a great way to make money and property is something that will never go away. Will it have its highs and its lows? Sure, but we all need to live somewhere and frankly, that will never change. I mean, think about the people who came in and were ready when the market crashed in seven, eight, nine, ten, and bought bought up all these properties at cents on the dollar, and they're selling them now. And look at the return that they're getting. So always, please, you know, talk to your um, real estate agent, your lender, um, your business partners, and, and really find out, you know, what can I do and how can I do it. Um, you know, I'd be happy to. Um, have those conversations with you if you're interested. Um, two things that I uh, would say 
uh, two people you're going to want to know as well, um, a commercial real estate agent. I know a really, really good one. If you need that information, please reach out. I'd be happy to deliver that to you. Number two, a property manager. As you grow these, unless you really want to manage your own properties, which traditionally most people do not, um, you're going to need somebody to oversee them for you, to screen the tenants, to collect the rent, to fix any damages that happen. So those two things, if you need either one, commercial real estate agent and or a great property manager, I have connections to both. Just reach out and I'll happily deliver that information to you. As we go, I'll do uh, more videos. Um, tell me what you'd like to hear. Do you want to hear more about flipping? Do you want to hear more about buying and holding property? Um, love to deliver whatever value uh, is most beneficial to you. Again, I'm Aaron Powers with Keller Williams Southern Nevada. And who do you know that might be looking to start investing and getting their foot in the door and making money with real estate. Thanks so much.